I worked on other projects for about a month and then I got back to work on the camper and added framing around the windows. I framed the door opening and the rear wall. Three quarter inch styrofoam was slightly thicker than three quarters of an inch and the cedar 1x4s were slightly thinner than 3 quarters of an inch so the styrofoam stuck out too far and as much as I hate working backwards I tore that all off and went back with half inch styrofoam which worked just fine I glued on one inch styrofoam for the exterior siding to give it a nice smooth surface. What a difference the siding makes. It's really starting to look like something now. I added quarter inch plywood on the front wall for diagonal support. And then added the exterior sheathing of one inch styrofoam. I made braces for the wing walls. Cut out the openings in the ceiling for the, it'll be a fantastic fan back here and an air conditioner in the front. The weight of the air conditioner will balance on this solid beam across this opening. I added a quarter inch plywood pad on the roof for the air conditioner to sit on and glued it down and bedded it with caulking. I filled all the gaps with great stuff and sanded the edges smooth and round. On the roof, I'm going to glue down canvas over the styrofoam for waterproofing.
I've got the canvas on the roof now. It took about five gallons of tight bond two wood glue and two painter's tarps to cover the entire roof. I spent a whole day putting the canvas on the roof in two pieces split down the middle. And then today I've spent another part of the day putting canvas on the front. The whole roof and the front are covered with canvas now. I think several coats of paint will smooth it out. I'll cover the side walls with bed sheets and that'll make them smoother to start with. One sheet's big enough to cover the whole back. Put a bed sheet on the back. I did the back first because it was the largest panel to do, and I did it with one queen size bed sheet so there's no seams. It turned out pretty good. There's a couple of small wrinkles in the sheet, but it didn't turn out bad. The, um, the older camper, I did the same way with a bed sheet on the side and the one or two wrinkles in it are hardly noticeable. So I'm happy with this. The rest of the sides will be, will be smaller panels. So they'll be easier to put on.